my name is Connie, and uh, I originally came here because of the death of my son, Christian Lodge. He was killed one, one day walking home. I had, uh, you know, dealt with, um, you know, the prosecutor's office, and it was suggested that I come here, and uh, I followed their directive. Received excellent care. I had tried a couple of uh, local psychologists. I tried uh, Grief Share. I tried some other programs for people that were trying to move, just to move. And um, I came here, and through the process, I was able, you know, to, to function again, to literally put one foot in front of the other again. My name's Molly. I'm 24. Um, the reason I first came to CTAP was uh, in 2014, my senior year at OSU, um, I was raped. Um, I really, you know, I was, you know, lucky enough that I knew I needed to reach out and get help. Um, I was um, connected through an advocate at OSU, um, and she actually introduced me to CTAP. Um, and luckily enough, you know, um, once I came to CTAP, it was exactly what I needed. Kind of finding help and reaching out is very intimidating and um, just finding, you know, especially a counselor that works for you, it was a difficult process for me. Hi, I'm Dawn Gross and I spent 17 wonderful years working for Mount Carmel and in 1996 wrote the grant that started the Crime and Trauma Assistance Program. It became apparent to me that what we were doing really well was helping them cope with their symptoms and manage their symptoms, but what we weren't seeing was a lot of healing from the actual traumatic injury that would help them actually be freed from the, the grips that the trauma had had on their life. I had received the EMDR training and I really got my wheels turning about um, what could we do to actually heal people as opposed to simply help them cope. Hi, my name's Carly Mesnick and I'm the manager of Mount Carmel's Crime and Trauma Assistance Program. I want people to be able to go on to become survivors and even thrivers. It's extremely important that this work is being done because there's people that need us and there's people that need each other and us being together in the process and and going along that healing journey together is important to them being able to bounce back and be resilient in, in their lives. Here was actually the first time I actually, eventually, um, once I was able to, through group, actually tell my story for the first time, I thought in my own way. You know, I've told the police, I've told everybody in a very robotic way. And here was the first time I actually think I like truly uh, told my story. Our relationship with CTAP has been essential in ensuring that we're able to provide a variety of different resources to students. Um, we have wonderful counseling services on campus, but it's always nice to be able to provide a variety of different counseling options to students so they can really feel empowered and in control of their healing process to decide which one is going to be best for them. the last 20 years, not just our agencies, but many other agencies in the community have worked closely with CTAP um, in working with victims and allowing them to heal. It's important because there are so many victims that go through the system who don't get connected with the resources that they need. Sometimes they don't even realize that they do need the resources. And so we work with them a lot in going through the criminal justice system but just because the case is over, it pleads, or the trial's over, the verdict comes in, doesn't mean their trauma has stopped. And so it's really important for us to link the victims and survivors with CTAP so that they get the information and resources and techniques and everything else that you guys can provide to help them heal going forward. I'd like to say that I couldn't be where I am now, doing what I'm doing now had I not come here. The 
we need to take care of one another because that's our mission in life, and especially here at Mount Carmel. The Mount Carmel mission statement itself is very short, but I think the piece that I always take out of it is transforming healing presence, and that's what we do in CTAMP. I think people come to us with broken lives and uh, broken in a lot of different ways, and so what we try to do is put their lives back together. So we are transforming uh, healing their healing lives, but with healing presence, because we're here to help them. I've felt really good inside knowing that the program was going strong and then learning more about what was going on and how things were growing and developing and the, the, the degree of, of support and creativity that was happening. That was just extremely exciting. Right now is a very exciting time in CTAP's history. Uh, we are doing more good by increasing our outreach efforts uh, to the community and meeting the community where they're at by increasing our collaboration efforts uh, with uh, the partnerships that we have grown and new partnerships that we've formed. We are a better able to serve vulnerable populations by getting an increased uh, amount of training that is cutting edge and extremely important to the development of the type of therapy techniques that we provide. I've grown. Um, I think starting out I was very scared. I had my mother do everything for me, uh, talk for me, everything. I had to have her there by my side for everything and I'm very thankful for that but now I think um, I'm able to, you know, stand on my own. I, I definitely say thank you. Thank you for that Thursday every week for two years to get me back to where I wanted to live again. I wanted to function. Uh, I needed to be there for my family. The therapy, the talks, the encouragement, the, the feeling that I was, I was worth it. They spent the time with me and I didn't have anything to give them. They made me whole again. And I think that sums it up for CTAP. They are trying to transform what has happened to people who come here. And so when you hear a good story and you hear a good story of how you've helped somebody, how CTAP just helped somebody, that's what I really live for.